We do start, though, with Liverpool. Their manager, Jurgen Klopp, has been speaking about his potential successor, Arne Slot, who's confirmed he wants to leave Feyenoord and take the job at Anfield. It seems that today Klopp has given his blessing to the man who will likely follow him into the dugout at Anfield. Well, let's speak to our reporter, Vinnie O'Connor, who has been talking to Klopp today. Vinnie, good afternoon to you. It looks then as though Liverpool are closing in on a replacement for Jurgen Klopp. What does he make of the man who is likely to follow him into the hot seat? He certainly seems to be impressed by his desire, certainly his wanting of the Liverpool job. Uh, Jurgen Klopp was quick to make clear once again that he's not part of the process, but he has been told, obviously, that Arna Slot said yesterday that he wants the Liverpool job, he wants to succeed Jurgen Klopp. He's also been told, obviously, that Liverpool are in negotiations with Feyenoord uh, as regards a compensation package. On top of that, he knows, obviously, of the success that Arne Slot has had with Feyenoord. He also, while he doesn't know him personally, he has friends, mutual friends with Arne Slot as well. And what he hears about him is that he's a good guy. So, from what we could gather, from what Jurgen Klopp had to say today, it seems that he's impressed by his potential successor and the man who could potentially take on what Jurgen Klopp describes as the best job in the world. So, I don't know anything about it not involved in the process, just to clarify that, so club-wise, I mean. Um, I would like a lot about it at first moment, that if he is the one that he wants to take the job, really, and he's desperate, but come on, let's go for it, excited, rather. Um, I like the, f the way his team play football. I can say that definitely all the things I hear about him as a, as a guy, good guy. Some people I know know him. I don't know him yet, but um, some people tell me that he's a really good guy, and um, I, I like that a lot. So, good coach, good guy. Looking forward for the club. If he's the solution uh, or the, the, the man, then I'm more than happy. It's not up to me to judge the things, but I, that sounds all really good to me. Um, what was the rest of the question? Just yet, yeah, what kind of a job has he taken? How would you describe it? Best job in the world. Best club in the world. Best job in the world. Um, and obviously now uh, help even with not finishing on a high, it looks like. So there's space for improvement, let me say it like that. Um, oh, great job, great team, fantastic people. Um, yeah, no. It takes a good, would, would take a really, really interesting um, job. But Vinny Jürgen Klopp still has four games in the job himself. Three points behind Arsenal, a couple behind City who have that game in hand too. Any chance that he'll get to sign off as a Premier League title winner again? Well, I think, first of all, we couldn't get away from the fact that it was a massive blow that Liverpool were dealt on Wednesday night at Goodison Park in the Merseyside derby. Going down to that 2-0 defeat to Everton, certainly the mood in the Liverpool camp afterwards was that the title race had effectively gone for them. Uh, and effectively, it had been turned into a two-horse race because, obviously, now they are so reliant on Arsenal and Manchester City dropping points, coupled with themselves getting back to form and, and picking up their own results for their own needs as well because they still need to guarantee Champions League football for next season as much as anything else. But but also they want to make sure that they're not just handing the title to either Arsenal or Manchester City, where we know in the league table at the moment that Arsenal are three points clear of Liverpool. City two points better off than Liverpool as well, having that game in hand. City also having a game in hand on Arsenal, of course, as well. As I say, Liverpool so reliant now on Arsenal and Manchester City dropping points. I don't think there's any expectation from Jurgen Klopp that that will necessarily be the case. They certainly don't expect Arsenal, both Arsenal and Manchester City to drop enough points to allow them in. At the same time, there is still hope. So while there is that hope, Liverpool aren't giving up. Vinny, thank you very much for now.